Um, so today's theorem, we look at the we're looking at the orthic triangle, which is the um, triangle formed by the feet of the altitudes of the triangle, and we're projecting the vertices of the original triangle onto the neighbouring sides, and we we are proving that the distance um, between that projected point and the end, the end of the line that they're projected on is the same. Uh, a bit of a mouthful and uh, it'll become a bit clearer when we uh, draw the diagram, but here we go. So here's my triangle ABC. Um, as, as my usual practice, I will uh, constrain the lengths of the sides to be A, B, and C. I'll just reinforce the fact this isn't necessarily um, horizontal. <clears throat> now, I'm going to uh, create the three altitudes, which I can do by selecting the point, the opposite side, and use the perpendicular constraint. That's actually a construction in this case. Um, so here we have the altitudes and we're now going to draw two of the sides of the orthic triangle, so-called. This is just um, two lines joining up the feet of the altitudes. And we're going to project A onto that side. So I project it, I mean, draw a line, make it perpendicular. Which of course I can do in a single shot with that. So let's see, DE perpendicular. And now what the theorem is asking us to prove is that this distance from G to F is the same as this distance from D to H. <coughs> so let's have a look at that. Uh, distance G to F and distance um, D to H. Oh, it took a little bit more time, but if we look at that, if we glance at that, we see they are indeed identical. 